You're watching the Technology Tell Network. Tonight on the Apple Channel, at 10.45, we profile all the stars who have left production of Aaron Sorkin's Steve Jobs biopic. At 11.20, Helen and Sue bake hairy biker ginger biscuits on a hilarious new episode of Up the Apples and Pears. On Technology Tell After Dark, Sylvia Crystal portrays the exotic dancer who played both in television and Atari games in Matatari. Up next, Kirk Heiner and David Temple complete an SSD upgrade to a 2006 iMac. Okay, when we last left you, we had taken this out of our old 2006 iMac right there so we could put in the OWC Mercury Electro 3G solid state drive. Not a good fit. Now we have picked up the newer technology adaptive drive kit, which is built specifically and available at OWC, which is MagSales.com, to fit this in here into that, get the whole thing put back together, and see if this operation is a success. So now the dramatic conclusion of our 2006 iMac repair. All right, now this couldn't be any easier. We're just going to uh, slide this into here. The OWC has the uh, connections right on the back of this, and then we're going to screw this into place. They provide the Phillips head screws, so we don't need anything too fancy here. Pretty much only Apple demands the fancy. Okay, we now have the drive screwed into the bracket. I will point out that OWC was kind enough to send four additional screws that you could use when attaching this to the bracket if necessary. The screw to from the system into the bracket and from the bracket into the drive are slightly different. The ones that you need to screw into the drive themselves have a uh, finer thread. Make sure you use those. The other ones won't fit. We are now going to screw the drive and the bracket into the mounting piece here, which we will then put into the computer. Now that we have the drive in the bracket, we are going to remove a couple of pins from the old hard drive that uh, we will need to put inside the bracket to mount it on the other side to make sure we get nice balance. Oops. All right, want to pop that in. We are attaching the uh, cables for the power and the data. Right into the grommets, down into the, what do you call that, the chassis, an opening, what are you going to call that, David? I think we can call it a chassis. Nice. I'm working on a chassis. And just like that, the new drive is now in place. And thus begins the laborious process of putting the whole thing back together. Did we keep the instructions? turn it on and let's see what happens. Power, so far so good. Chime, so far so good. And hopefully it'll tell us that we have an unformatted hard drive here. Or that it at least doesn't recognize that there's an install. I do have Mac OS X Snow Leopard. My goal was to be able to get uh, the computer to run this. So I'm going to pop it in there and see if it recognizes the disk and will ask us to do the installation. And there you go, a quick format later, it's now recognizing the OWC drive and asking us to install Snow Leopard, so I will click install.
is going to take another 26 minutes, and it's been on 26 minutes for 10 minutes. What can we do for 26 minutes?